What's up YouTube, Mike here from TechnoGI, and today I wanted to do a quick video kind of fostering and asking for your guys' opinion. As you guys recently know, I got a Lumix G7, uh, it's a Panasonic camera, I love it, the video quality is great, I'm using it right now, but it shoots 4K video, and it shoots pretty high res, um, pretty large video files. And my conundrum is, I use a Microsoft Surface Book for my video editing needs, and I've got the base model, it's just a dual core, which they don't make a quad core, but it's a dual core, i5, um, 128 gigabytes, got only 8 gigs, gigs of RAM, and I've been using that with Adobe Premiere Pro for uh, quite a while now. Um, really haven't had any issues until I started editing footage from the Lumix G7. So um, obviously it's a lot uh, higher bit rate and all that stuff, just larger files than what I'm used to using. So uh, for instance, yesterday I did a about an eight minute video um, rendering it within my timeline in Premiere was just very choppy, um, kind of sluggish. I had to drop the quality all the way down to one eighth when I could, and it was still not playback smoothly. Um, it does it. It's just very ugly process. And to render that video took about about 40 minutes, and I was downscaling downscaling 4K down to 1080p. So it does it. It works. It's just very slow and painful. So my question to you guys is, uh, do you have any recommendations for some uh, semi-budget friendly video editing machines? Now, I do like Macs, and I was looking at the 13-inch MacBooks Pros simply because I can use Final Cut Pro. I've never used it, but I do know Final Cut Pro is a little bit more optimized, I would say, than uh, Premiere Pro due to the fact, for instance, it'll kind of render in the background. So. You know, there's lots of YouTube videos out there where you can watch them edit 4K video on a MacBook Air using Final Cut, and it it's actually fairly workable, more so than on my Surface Book. And it's not the hardware, it's the software, the way it's optimized for Macs. Now, if you try and do the same thing with the Premiere Pro, it's just not going to happen. So, um, looking at that, I mean, I would love to get my hands on a 15-inch MacBook Pro with the 16 gigs of RAM, uh, quad-core. However, those are about $2,500. But what I was looking at is online on Amazon, I saw the Acer Aspire uh, V15 or V17 um, Black Edition. And it's a gaming PC, but it's got all the specs and abilities that you would need for a good video editing rig. You know, you can get 16 and 24 gigabytes of RAM, quad core i7, and dedicated graphics and GPU. So, or I say discrete. So, my question to you guys if you're watching this and you edit video especially 4k what do you guys use what's good recommendations because I'm still fairly new to this uh, when it comes to 4k editing and all that and I don't want to drop $2,500 if I don't have to because it's just an insane amount of money whereas I can get you know if I debate between the 15 inch MacBook Pro or a gaming PC I can save you know anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars with similar specs uh, with the exception, obviously, of the hardware. You know, in a MacBook Pro, it's going to be an aluminum chassis. So it's going to be better quality as opposed to, like, a plastic chassis on a, you know, Acer or any gaming Windows PC, which I personally don't care about. But um, anyway, so I'm just curious what your guys' thoughts are. Um, so as always, I appreciate you watching my videos. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. And if you've not subscribed please go ahead and do so. And again, I'm anxious to hear any comments or recommendations for a good video editing machine that will run Adobe Premiere Pro uh, with 4K video. Thanks.